Good evening, ladies, gentlemen, and non-binary peoples. This is Bronson's By Any Means Necessary Fantasy Baseball Talk for Monday, September 26th. This will be my second to last baseball video because this should be everybody's championship round. If you've made it this far, great. Sorry I wasn't super helpful to you last week. I only put out one video. Um, this is a week where it's all or nothing. No big or no home. You don't need any hitters. Um, empty your bench of hitters and use them all for pitchers to stream because you're going to want pitchers to survive this week. Um, in my leagues, we have a maximum. We, have, we can have 29 starts for the two weeks. So that's pretty... Hey, look, Zeke Elliott just scored a touchdown. Great. I'm, <laughs> I wish I'd have played him. I, I, I didn't play him this way. I may have played him in one league because... I didn't have any better flex options, but I was very reluctant to do so. So that's that's cool. Good good for Zeke Elliott. Looks like a pretty damn boring game. Glad I'm not watching that. But yes, in my league's baseball, we get 29 starts over the two weeks. It's usually 12 per week, and then you know 24 for a two-week period. So we got 29 this time. It's pretty pretty incredible. Um, so yeah, you should be streaming as much as you can. Um, I've got streamers for you Wednesday or Tuesday and Wednesday for you. Nobody on Thursday, unfortunately. Um, but I do intend to make another video for you on Thursday night for Friday, Saturday, Sunday to get you through the weekend and get you over the hump in your fantasy baseball matchup. I've been working like a dog. I worked 60 hour weeks, 60 hours last week between my two jobs, between the Uber Eats. I finally put in like my first. Sorry, I had, my phone is obviously not on Do Not Disturb anymore. I must have accidentally turned that off when my phone was in my pocket earlier because my phone, for some reason, um, ever since I got an iPhone, uh, the lock screen doesn't work in my pocket. It, come, it comes off all the time. And just, my phone just starts doing random shit in, in my pocket. So, yeah. I keep losing my train of thought because the thing keeps popping up on my phone, giving me alerts. Uh, oh my god. Oh, yeah, we're playing dog. 60 hour, I finally put in a 40 hour week at Uber, something I haven't been doing uh, because I've been making enough money without it. But I just want, I wanted to see how much money I could do um, putting in 40 hours. I had a new goal. Like, my goal for the week is usually 800. This week, I went to 900, and I just barely got it. I got $900, $900.83 last night. And, uh, put in about 42 hours and, like, 50 minutes or something. So, it's just under 43. And then I also worked seven shifts at UPS. Uh, got that overtime money. Got about 18 hours there. So, about 60-hour work week last week. Probably gonna put in more this week, because now that I've done the nine hundred dollar week, I want to do it again. But it does it does mean I have to work. I gotta work all seven days, and um, you know it kind of sucks. Uh, but I got nothing better to do. I try to have a social life. I try to you know I got a couple of friends who, um, you know, they hit me up. They're like, oh, what are you doing on so and so day? I tell them I'm gonna be working, but I can be available for you at whatever time you want to do something right so because that's the pleasure that's the great thing about making uh, my own hours working when i want to is if someone wants to do something with me i got time just let me know in advance i need i need time in advance to know so i can so i can figure out how i'm gonna still make my money um so last weekend one of my friends hit me up uh, about going out this weekend um and then you know that was the end of it i said i'll be available you let me know when and where Never gave me a time. Then he wanted to hang out tonight. <laughs> well, it's seven thirty, and I haven't heard him from I haven't heard from him today. So, you know, this this is what people do to me. They get my hopes up just so they can drop them on the floor like a like a you know fragile. Um, I don't know. This is why I don't try to make plans with people. I don't reach out and try to make plans with people because they're just going to disappoint me. So it's why bother? Um, so yeah, I try to, I try, but it is what it is. So I just work. Um, I work, becoming a workaholic again. Uh, trying to make. Well, I'm also trying to catch up financially. 
and uh, hopefully get ahead again soon. Um, and then hopefully gonna we're gonna see if I'm gonna move. Although there's still a lot of things like now that I have a car again, um, I want to explore a lot more of this beautiful Pacific Northwest because it's a, there's I've lived here my whole life. There's a lot of stuff I haven't seen, and. Uh, Canada just opened the borders again today, so I can finally go to Canada. So I gotta figure out the time to do that in the next couple of months, even though it's gonna start getting cold. Um, but there's a ferry from Port Angeles, Washington to Victoria Island that I definitely want to get on soon. And then I, I can also just want to drive up to Vancouver because I got a passport. I got a passport specifically to go to Canada, and I haven't been able to do that. So now just go straight up I 5, uh, six hours. I'm in Vancouver, Canada. That's so. That's something I want to do. I just hope my car. Uh, I put a lot of money into my car, but I'm also putting a lot of miles, a lot of a lot, a lot of wear on my car. So it, I, I I get a little wary of going on these road trips now. So I haven't been going lately. It's because I drive my car around so much oh, that I just I don't want to add even more miles for you know my pleasure. But uh, yeah, the weather. You know, it's going to start getting shitty around here again. So I got to get out and start doing some Wednesday wanderings again. I don't know if I'm going to go anywhere this Wednesday. Um, most of the places I really want to go still are going to take more than a couple hours to get to. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of planning in advance. Maybe spend a night somewhere. Um, but, but, yeah, so... I'm going to work all seven days again a week, again this week. Work three extra shifts at UPS, including tonight. I just got back. Uh, Mondays are pretty awful on the night shift. Uh, <laughs> but, but Tuesdays, you know, for us in the morning, Tuesdays are awful too. It's just, a, it's just that first day after the weekend where we just get slammed. And, uh, yeah, I feel like I need to take a second shower. They worked me pretty hard today. But the good thing is it's overtime because, um, even though it's the beginning of the week for me, it is not one of my scheduled work days because my scheduled work days are Tuesday through Saturday, right? So if I work Monday, it's overtime automatically. That's the way UPS works. I love it. UPS is such a great job. I don't want to leave UPS. That's the real, that's the one thing that uh, is the one hitch in my moving plans, really, other than the fact that I haven't found a place to move yet, is UPS. I don't want to leave this job. I don't want to quit this job. I want to transfer, but they are not letting me do that. I've got to talk to someone higher up, figure out how I can make it work, because I want to be at this job until I, re until I retire. I can retire for 25 years, whether I'm retirement age or not. So I started at 33. I can retire at 50, 58. So... Yeah, that's cool. I mean, I still I won't technically be retirement age at that point, but you know I'll have I'll have a pension from UPS, and I can still go do something else for the last few years of my working life if I so choose. Or by that point, uh, maybe I won't want to work two jobs anymore. Um, you know, lots gonna, lots going to change between now and the time I'm 58 years old. I know that, um, but I don't want to lose this job. Um, all right, baseball stuff. Real quickly, I don't have a whole lot to say. I do have a couple of hitters to consider adding, though, like I said, you shouldn't be adding hitters at this point unless you got some injuries. Uh, you need to just injuries or or whatever, what have you. But you shouldn't be worrying about hitters much. But Gio Ursula, third baseman shortstop of the Twins, someone to consider. And then Connor Capel, the young rookie outfielder for Oakland is his bat is on fire he is hitting the ball better than almost anybody in baseball right now uh, so he's someone to ride the hot hand with for this last week of the season for the pitchers to stream I got four for you on Tuesday and five for you on Wednesday that should make up for the zero I got for you on Thursday four Tuesday Corey Kluber at the Guardians Congratulations to the AL Central champion, Cleveland Guardians. Nobody saw that coming. We all assumed it was going to be the White Sox, but the White Sox collapsed, fell apart. Tony La Russa is an old geriatric guy who shouldn't be managing a baseball team anymore. Hopefully he retires. Um, I feel bad for the White Sox owner, Jerry Reinsdorf, because he's really old. I mean, um, 
he's won a lot of, he's had a lot of success. The White Sox did win a World Series with him as the owner, and the Bulls won a lot of championships with him as the owner. But he's a really old guy, and he he wanted to rectify the mistake that he thinks he made 40 years ago by firing Tony La Russa when he was a younger man. Um, but he just he waited he waited way too long, waited way too long to do that. He should have done it 10, 15 years ago after he retired from as the Cardinals manager or. Um, after he stepped, I mean, he was like the, he was like a president for the Diamondbacks for a few years or something, not that long ago. They, he could have got him then. I mean, it, it's just, the timing was just off. He should have done it. There was plenty of opportunities where he could have hired Tony La Russa when Tony La Russa was still young enough and, and a good manager. Um, but, you know, at least he, at least he did it. He must he Jerry Reinsdorf is like in his nineties. He's probably feel, he's probably gonna he's probably gonna die soon. He so he he was like I got to do this now. Whatever the reasons, whatever the reasons rich old men do what they do. Um, it didn't work out. But anyway, moving on to uh, next next streamers for Tuesday: Hunter Green at the Pirates, and then Mitch Keller versus the Reds. Those two are facing off against each other. Both are. Um, pretty talented young pitchers facing bad lineups and then we got Joey Wentz the young rookie uh, for the Tigers pitching against the Royals That's those are your Tuesday streamers for Wednesday we have a new addition to the list Tyler Glasnow against the Guardians Time this is going to be the only start you're going to get from Tyler Glasnow this year uh, he's coming back from Tommy John surgery if you remember him from like a year and a half ago uh, before he got hurt he was on his way to putting up a possible Cy Young Award-winning campaign. Um, so, yeah, he's not going to go very deep into this game. He's already it's already been confirmed that he's not going to throw more than 50 pitches. So he may not qualify for the win or quality start. But uh, it's hard to ignore the talent there, especially when you're trying to win a fantasy baseball championship. you got to go for that upside. And then Matt Manning, Tigers versus the Royals. And then Jesus Lazardo of the Marlins at the Mets. Are we going to get the good Jesus Lazardo? Are we going to get the bad Jesus Lazardo? Who knows? You got to go for that upside anyway. Go big or go home, like I said at the top of the episode. Hayden Wesneski, the young, I believe he's a rookie. I've never heard of him before until like two weeks ago. Um, Hayden Wesneski of the Cubs versus the Phillies. He's pitching really well. And then Jose Quintana, who's having an outstanding year for the Pirates and now the Cardinals uh, will be facing the Brewers in Milwaukee. Uh, I've already picked up Jose Quintana. I picked up Jose Quintana days ago in preparation for this week. And, uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I got for you. Uh, I watched, I watched, don't worry, man, I feel, I know I'm definitely getting fatter because I'm not exercising nearly as much anymore. I got to figure out, I got to figure something out because I don't, do not like I already didn't like the way I looked, and now I feel like I look even worse. Um, I watched Don't Worry, Darling, the other night, and that was that movie was fucked up. <laughs> okay, um, if you read the book, um, I don't. I never read the book. I didn't even know there was a book. Um, <laughs> but uh, wow, um, definitely. You could definitely tell it was a book because Hollywood doesn't have the creativity to cre- come up with something um, that effed up. Uh, that's definitely a writer's imagination. And uh, it was a good movie. Florence Pugh is super hot. Like, I don't... <laughs> I've seen her in movies before and always I always thought she was, like, pretty. But, like, this movie, she solidified herself as a hottie. A certified hottie in this movie and... <laughs> She did a good acting job. Harry Styles did a good acting job. I'm amazed. He's actually not that bad of an actor. Olivia Wilde, fantastic. She did a good direct, a good job directing. I th- thought it was a good movie. It's a well done movie. Um, I just didn't like it. It was just like it, it, I don't want to ruin it. I don't. I don't want to ruin it for you guys. I want you guys to watch it and enjoy it for yourselves. But it was definitely um, not what I was expecting I mean I I was I was I could tell from the trailer that there was something weird going on in this movie 
Um, but never, ever did it occur to me that it was what it actually ended up being, and I, it blew my mind. I was like, it, after finding out what was going on in the movie, I was very uncomfortable, and let's just say that. So, um, yeah, but it was it was decent. I don't think I don't know if I could watch it again. I think it's kind of one of those movies that doesn't have a lot of rewatch value. I mean, I guess I guess you could watch it again because you want to you want to like watch it a second time through to see if there was any clues to what the twist what was gonna happen but um yeah not a bad movie not a bad movie at all just um going uh, expecting um i mean maybe maybe it is exactly what you think it is maybe <laughs> but it caught me off guard that's for sure yeah so um yeah i guess i guess i'm gonna end this now and i'm gonna focus on making some money because lunch lunch was okay i only did eight orders i did like four orders in my first hour and then after that my second hour i did like one it was just completely dead i don't know what was going on um and then my third hour i did three so I got eight total, made over 50 bucks. So not bad. Uh, I feel like I definitely could have done better if that second hour had not been so wacko. But um, I'm waiting until the sun goes down because I don't, because my car, my window, windshield does not have glare resistance. So the light, when the sun is going down, beaming right in my eyes, it is really, I cannot see. It is it is a safety hazard. And um, the, the, the little... Uh, the hell is it called the thing that comes down over the window to block the sun it doesn't do shit it does nothing so um i don't like to drive in that half hour period when the sun is going down because i don't want to get into an accident i don't want to hit some kid because it's you know it's the time of day when the children are home they'll be out riding their bike i might not see them or some pedestrian walking i just i don't feel safe um driving at the time of day which kind of sucks because that's a good potential that's a lot of money that i'm losing out on but um yeah safety first um so yeah i'm waiting for the sun to go down which i think is down now it's after 7 30 um so luckily i'm actually looking forward to the time of year when the sun goes down to like four ish 4 30 now because that's not a time of day when uh, you know, at some time of day, I'm usually out because it's not, it's kind of dead. So, like, by the time I go out for dinner at 5 o'clock, the sun will already be down. It'll be great. And, yeah, that's it, I guess. Peace, love, nacho fries. Good luck with your fancy baseball matchups. Good luck with your fancy football matchups. I'll have my waiver wire video tomorrow. Um, if you're watching this boring ass Cowboys game, um, for you i guess i guess you care about football more than i do i'm not watching it it's awful i saw the score in like the third quarter after i got off of ups six to three i was like oh okay oh i missed nothing um i don't if i'm not if they're not scoring touchdowns i don't care to watch the game honestly so as, as i've noted several times i do not care about kickers at, at all so um but yeah, I haven't I haven't checked my fantasy scores at all this week. Uh, it's just it's just somewhat. It makes for a much less stress free Sunday when I don't even look at it. I just look uh, after the game ends on Monday night to see how how it went. And uh, yeah, I'm a little worried about my money league again. I'm already owing two. I feel like I'm probably gonna be owing three because. Uh, I mean, my quarterback did okay. Kirk Cousins did okay, but I should have started Trevor Lawrence. Um, Mark Andrews did okay. I don't think Debo did shit. I don't think... Uh, who was my other wide receiver? Rashad Bateman didn't do shit. So, yeah, I'm probably, probably going to be 0-3, which is um, pathetic. Uh, I hope not. Maybe, maybe I caught my opponent in a bad week. Um, and that's another... I have 2018s. So I don't... It's too hard to keep up with uh, who I'm playing against because everybody because I'm going to be playing against every single player in the league most likely. So it doesn't. It's no point 
to think to be like, oh, I can't, I can't have, uh, I can't have Tyreek Hill score more than 14 points today um, because you know I I have Tyreek Hill in a lot of leagues. So uh, yeah, I would like Tyreek Hill to have a good day. Um, so I, I'm just, it's just much less stress free when I don't even worry about it. I just set my lineups on Saturday. And I just watch football in peace and bliss on Sunday, sometimes Monday. And then I just, you know, check my scores when the game's over on Monday night and hope that I won, you know. All right. Good night.